It, uh, your willingness to serve and, and that of your family to, to stand behind and support. Uh, welcome to all of them and to your friends. Uh, you've, got a, you've got a good support system, it looks like. So we're pleased that they're, they're with you here today. I appreciate you mentioning the, the scientific integrity of the, of the agency. Um, I think USGS, we know, is known for its, um, its focus on, on seeking out um, the best science, the best data, and doing so in a way that is not biased and that we can uh, certainly look to. And, and my hope, my ask, is, is that you maintain that uh, integrity within the agency. You, you mentioned your, your, your three-question uh, approach. Do you have a plan? Is it working? And, and can you do it? Easy question for you, hopefully, this morning. Uh, with, with, with the USGS as it is, construct, is it is structured today, do you feel that uh, the agency is working as it needs to be? Uh, I have suggested that um, uh, that sometimes I think they may have, the USGS may have strayed from its core mission uh, in recognizing um, the original mandate as as authorized under the Organic <coughs> Act. Do you do you feel that the the agency is is tracking right? If not, where do we need to adjust? Are there redundancies, uh, duplications with other agencies? Give me your view. Um, in one minute or less. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Senator. Uh, I always like a challenge. Yeah. Um, the, uh, um, unfortunately, I can't really give you a good detailed answer for uh, the question on where I think things might have strayed, but one of the things I will be doing when I, if confirmed, is uh, I'll spend the first, certainly the first 30 days at the very least, uh, talking with all the uh, senior managers within the core mission areas and trying to evaluate how well they align with the Organic Act of 1879, because that is, as you point out, a very clear mission statement for the USGS. And we'll be looking very closely at that. And of course, I'd be happy to work with you and your staff on, on realigning if and anything that you might see being an issue where we would uh, need, some, need some focus. Good, appreciate that. I have uh, directed a lot of my attention here on the committee over these past several years, focused on on uh, mineral security and recognizing that we, uh, we're going in a direction in terms of reliance on, on other nations for some, some pretty key uh, critical minerals that are important to our national defense and, and to our economy. Last year, here in the United States, we imported 100% of 21 different minerals and at least 50% of another 30. This, this reliance on others concerns me. I hope it concerns you. We're looking to, to, to lessen that dependence. Uh, the President and the Secretary recently signed an executive and a secretarial order to strengthen our mineral security. And uh, I think that that is a step in the right direction. But I also recognize that that is, that is an executive order. It's a secretarial order I'd like to do more from the legislative and the statutory uh, authority. So the, the, the general question to you, again, is when it comes to understanding what it is that we have, understanding what it is that we lack, how, how, do, you, uh, how do you view this uh, within the responsibilities of the agencies? Do you think we need more statutory authority to, to address this level of dependency that, that currently exists? Yes, uh, yes Senator, the, the, the critical minerals uh, can, uh, question that's, in, that's before the USGS today is obviously one that we need to focus on from a technical aspect, and it certainly fits within the Organic Act mission statement that we've talked about. Uh, identifying what those issues are uh, inside the organization, uh, particularly when it gets to statutory authorities, uh, that, of course, is one I can't really answer today, but what I would certainly like to do is be to review that with you when I get a chance to put my feet on the ground there for a while and take a good hard look at what we've got and would, of course, always like to be able to come back to you with a much more detailed answer on that one. Do you, 
do you share my concern, though, about uh, the dependency that we have yes. on, on foreign sources? Yes, ma'am. In fact, uh, some of the things I'm more familiar with from the satellite operations sides of things, you know, the gallium, which is critical to getting the solar arrays that work efficiently in space, is one of those critical minerals, just as one example. Mm -hmm. And as you point out, there's, there's literally dozens of these uh, elements, the critical minerals, which include the rare earth elements, that are absolutely critical to build the new technologies that we need here in our own country. Being less dependent on that where it would be a strategic vulnerability, I absolutely share your concern. Very good. Look forward to working with you on that. Senator Thank Cantwell. You.